4. One of the greatest games to ever release during the 7th gen console era. A game that is a massive evolution in terms of the open world, the compelling and sometimes enigmatic characters, its focus on a more cinematic storyline, the fun multiplayer mode, and bowling. and also its PC port. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, Gwent of Auto 4's PC port came out during a time when developers prioritize consoles over PC as developing games for the console market was quite lucrative. And as such, many PC ports at the time have become outdated since then, and you'll need to use community-made patches to fix these old PC ports. And GTA 4 was no exception. But have you ever wanted to actually play the PC version that can actually function properly? Yes! Well then, let me introduce you to Fusion Fix. Not only that it would fix many of the issues that plagued the port, but it adds in new features that you can tweak at your own leisure. There's also other things like DVXK, console visuals, and many more, but I'll get to those later on in the video. Also, it should be noted that this is only for the complete edition version of GTA 4, so to my knowledge, this won't work on older or downgraded versions of the game. But anyways, with all that out, now let's get on to installing Fusion Fix. To install Fusion Fix, you'll have to go onto their GitHub page, which will be linked down in the description. And, after entering the site, click here on the releases, scroll down until you see the downloads for the mod, simply click on the zip file to start downloading. After it's done, Open it with 7-Zip or WinWAR. Now you'll need to find where you install GTA 4 from. If you have the game on Steam, simply be in the Library tab, right-click on the game, go to Manage, and then onto Browse Local Files. Now you found the root folder. Simply just drag and drop the files from Fusion Fix onto the game's root folder, and that's it. you've successfully installed Fusion Fix.
business that puts food on all of our tables. The business that we are all in while you're out pretending to be safe. Get my bike! What am I, your fucking dog? Hell yeah! Now let's get the other two. What's up? What's up? So glad you could make it, man. Seriously. Fucking A. You're for real, man. Yep. You okay, bro? Now that you have installed Fusion Fix, you can then start playing GTA 4 The Complete Edition and explore what the mod has to offer, but there's still a few things left to show. Next up is DVXK, which will help in translating the game's original renderer from DirectX to Vulkan. And GTA 4 is one of the few exceptions where it greatly benefits from DVXK. There's a lot more to explain with DVXK, but to respect your time, I'll be linking down a video by TJGM who did a great video explaining more in depth about DVXK and how you can install it onto GTA 4. The next mod I'll be showing is optional, but I'd like to include it as it enhances the experience in that it doesn't affect the game's tone or atmosphere. Next up is Radio Downgrader. Back in April of 2018, Rockstar released a patch to GTA 4 during its 10th year anniversary as some songs had their licenses expired. While most radio stations had a few songs taken out, Vladivostok FM had suffered the most, as pretty much nearly every song in that station was removed, leaving it as a shell of its former self. But luckily with the Radio Downgrader mod, you can restore all of the deleted songs back into the game and enjoy them as they originally were. And then next we got console visuals. As the mod's name implies, it brings back visuals similar to the console versions of the game. It includes console loading screens, animations, and even console pedestrians along with outfits that were only seen and used on consoles. Definitely a great mod to use if you yearn for that console look to GTA 4. Anyways, this is where we finally reached the end of the video. Thank you so much if you have watched it all the way through. Um, making videos like these takes time and effort to produce and I hope that I did something that you have enjoyed. And if you did enjoy the video, share it around and subscribe if you want more videos like these. Oh, and before ending the video, I just want to mention that we are nearing 1,000 subscribers. Knowing this just makes me not happy, but more motivated to make more videos. But uh, yeah, as always, I hope that you have enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in the next video. I'll take a number nine, fat boy. Give me a number nine, just like his. Uh, let me get a number six with extra dip. I could go for a barbecue bacon burger and a large order of fries and orange soda with no ice and a piece of hot apple pie.